Empty hole. Sprayer time. We have a weed called Colt's Foot. That has appeared in a field. I don't know much about it. I'm going to do a bit of research while the sprayer fills. This is the stubble field we're going for. Just got to be careful, there's carrots in the distance over there. So since it's glyphosate, I'll shut off a section next to the carrots. Don't want to kill them. Voila! Oh, there's the digger. Need to get that moving soon, can't wait. Now that harvest's over, I can start destroying more pieces of the farm. This is the stuff, Colt's foot. I've never dealt with it before, but it's just laid in in patches across the field like that. Done a bit of research, it seems to be a growing concern across the country, in spring barley specifically, which this is. We'll need to go and have a check of all the other spring barley fields. The consensus, I think, to try and get on top of it, which is tricky, is glyphosate fairly early, as soon as you can. The plants aren't big, so hopefully we'll get on top of it now, and it won't become a problem, but I think it's a tricky one. Kev's just heading off to put the drill on. He's finished baling now. I'm almost finished this field up and then down that tram line. Kev's going to yard to put a drill on. He's going to meet me at yard four where the seed is. I'm going to go with the forklift and the flatbed, which is just over there lying in the field, pick up the seed and load him up. And then he's drilling at yard three. Everything's been in the wrong place. This at yard one, drill at yard two, seed at yard four, and we're sowing at yard three. We'll get that sorted out once I've finished this. I've just been another five minutes quick rinse down. Job done here. Let's go shift some seed. Yeah, Let's go. That bed with the big dent in it. <laughs> Not very flat anymore, is it? It is it's about half six now, it's all closed. Sparkies are here, all the power's off now so they can wire everything up fully. They had to wait till the end of the day until we can actually shut power off to the farm in the shop before they can get to fully connecting it up. Nice one, managed to put a gouge in the bag. There's a weld up here, I need to grind back. I've cut a few bags with that actually. We've stuffed a rag into it, oh pure radio banger. There we go, that solved the problem. Right, bucket's empty now. Got all the seed in. Oh, you mess up later. We didn't actually lose any seed, thankfully. Just some time. The rest of the seed we'll just tuck under here. We'll get into that tomorrow. So don't burst these bags. Yard four bound now, it's half seven, so. Usually this time of year when we're sowing and whatnot, we finish at eight. So there's no point in Kev heading out. He's calibrated, ready to go. First thing in the morning, he's just gonna put the drill away. I'll go and grab this seed. It'll only take me 20 minutes. And then we're all set to get going, get fired into life tomorrow.
Warning, when you try and uh, let go of your drone like this, like I do all the time, don't try and push it away from you because it tilts this way and chews your hand up. So I've been sore of that. Let's place it on the flat deck. I could hide beneath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. Good morning. It is Friday today. Shed builders come on Monday. Still no steel. We have got a shed which is full of kit now with no space. Bunk just disappeared from this bit. Toilets have arrived for the shed builders. I best get it on some level ground. Is that level? I'm not going to be using it. Quick swap of implement. Right, I'll jump in a forklift. There's a lorry coming either this afternoon or tomorrow morning for straw, so Dad and I are away to shift some straw. Hopefully it'll clear up and it'll be glorious beaming sunshine soon. Sunshine, sunshine. She shall, she shall run a she shore. One load done. The drone's actually on top of those bales right now somewhere. Just landed it up there and then once Dad's got it back to the yard, put it up again because it's low on battery. I want to get a wee bit of unloading. That's the mist all burnt away. It's a nice sunny day now. There's a few scruffy ones out of this field, so we'll just keep them to use ourselves. Lorry drivers don't really want them. That's the first 26. Another three, four lo three loads, three loads. That's a bit better. I can see out the window now. It's pretty manky. This forklift's need a good clean. It is clorty. Full of stuff. Ah. One of the scruffy ones I've left on because it can get torched, it's past it. It's just falling to pieces every time you try and move it. Load number two, offload it here and then one more load and that'll be enough for a lorry. I like their pals, see you later. Bloody sheep. Right, we'll leave them stacked up, hopefully a lorry, hopefully it arrives tonight actually get them loaded up. A few jobs to do with quad bike but I'm out of petrol so well obviously not fully out it's running but the gauge is on empty. We'll get it loaded up in the trailer and we'll just head to the petrol station. We're off to the races. <laughs> Works a treat. Fill the quad bike up. Fill that tank up. Oh jeez, that's that full. Oh, the indicator got jammed. Nice one. What's the damage on this build going to be? Perfect, I've got that jammed in there, so one cope over. Quad bike's filled up. What's the bill? 50 quid. That didn't last long. Cheers for watching like and subscribe hey doug should they subscribe poor poor if they should subscribe there you go good dog cheers see you tomorrow